Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a scary looking problem, but uh, the area model allows us to cut through it pretty quickly. So maybe pause the video, try it on your own, and then resume it when you're ready to talk. Alright, so um, let me rewrite this. And when I rewrite this, I'm going to point out something kind of nice about this problem. And this happens sometimes. It's kind of a special setup. Um, and again, there are many ways to solve this. I'm, I'm just going to show one. What I notice is that uh, I wrote 2x minus 4 twice. So in other words, if you want to think about what's happening here, this 2x minus 4 is being repeated. Now in a lot of problems, it makes a lot of sense, especially here, to use another variable to represent this expression. This is called substitution. And when you do that, everything becomes a lot simpler. So I'm going to use a smiley face, right? So this smiley face, that'll be my variable. That's going to represent 2x minus 4. Why would I do that? Well, because it makes the problem look a lot more manageable. Now, you don't need to do this substitution right here, but I'm going to use this technique because it's really common in a lot of problems. Now, when I substitute the smiley face in to my original equation, let's look at what happens. I get smiley face squared, right, plus five smiley faces plus four. And I think you might notice that, let's say the smiley face is x, it looks just like a really friendly trinomial. Right, x squared plus 5x plus 4. Structurally, these things are identical. So, if I clear this off, instead of my area model, the problem becomes easy to solve. And this happens when you have a repeated expression in place of a variable. So my, my area model is a little messy, but I just want to stress it doesn't really matter. It's supposed to be a tool for solving a problem. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's just a representation. Anyway, so here, this is my smiley face squared. That's this term. And I'll put 4 over here. Now, <clears throat> if this is smiley face squared, that means each side length is a smiley face, right? Smiley face times itself is smiley face squared. Now, I could use 2 by 2 to get 4, but they have to add to 5. Why? Well, let's take a look. So we have 4 over here and 1 over here. Let's add to 5. This region is 4 smiley faces, 4 times the smiley face. And over here, this is 1 smiley face. So if we think about what's going on here, if you combine these areas back together, this area model is basically saying that this area represents this trinomial right here. So if we add these pieces together, we have a smiley face squared, that's one region, plus these two regions, four, four groups of smiley faces, plus one group is five groups of smiley faces, and then we have four left over. So just, this just confirms that if we add these pieces together, we do get the original trinomial. So, and again, that, that just means that to get this area, we need two numbers that multiply to four. To get these two areas, right, that correspond to this part of the trinomial, we have to add those two factors, four and one. So that's why you find two numbers that multiply to four and add to this uh, B term right here. Anyway, the answer is actually right in front of us now. We're trying to find these two binomials, smiley face plus four and smiley face plus one. Now that can't, I mean, once you substitute, I mean, you probably wouldn't use a smiley face, but you can use whatever you want. You would, it's not really typical to leave your answer in this form. You want to plug back in the expression that equals a smiley face. So smiley face plus 4 is really 2x minus 4 plus 4. All I did was plug this expression in for the smiley face. Times 2x plus, oops, 2x minus 4 plus 1. Right, I just put that in here. So... 2x minus 4 plus 1. Now, negative 4 plus 4 is 0, so it's 2x. And then 2x minus 4 plus 1 is negative 3x. Uh, 2x minus 3, excuse me. So this could be um, our answer. Now, notice there's a mistake in the question. Two binomials, but really this is a monomial times a binomial. So that's a mistake there. Anyway, I hope this helped. Thanks.